Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Apple Hill Farm in Concord. I'm joined by Rachel Messini from UNH Cooperative Extension. Rachel, we're surrounded by peach trees. In a previous segment, and we learned about what homeowners should maybe do if they're considering planting them. You're here to tell us there's some things to watch out for as well, right? Exactly. Our biggest pest for peach trees, Ray, is the peach tree borer. And this time of year, you want to be looking for some of that damage or that um, some of the symptoms that you might so encounter. So what would we be looking happen. for on this tree? Here. What you would be looking for within the first 10 or 18 inches above soil, as well as three inches below the soil, you may see, we call it excuate, which is basically a gummy substance that's coming out of the, the trunk itself. And that could be an indication that you have a borer going on in there. Okay. What is the substance? Is substance coming from the tree itself? It is. It, the, the tree is trying to fight off that it, basically that invasion. And so what it's doing is it's um, forming these sugary substances, which is trying to push that um, larvae or whatever it is out of the tree. Okay. And it's important that you mentioned that you look down below the uh, soil level. The soil level, level exactly. As, exactly. Now, what do we have here? This here is a picture of the adult stage of the um, peach tree borer. They are moths, so you would not you might see these flying around, but not identify them because they do take on the look of a, a wasp or another insect. So if you do have a lot of activity with this, it could be an indication that you might have peach tree borer. Okay, now there are a couple different things I gather we can do to try to prevent them. One of them is what we see here, right? Yes, this is what we call um, painting, and this you use it's an interior latex paint. It's white. If you do have um, peach tree borer and you know that you have it, you can actually put rotenone into that spray before you the spray the trunk. And again, you want to get three inches below the soil line as well as 10 to 18 inches above the soil line. Okay. Now we've seen some grubs as well uh, before. What are the thing, if you find them, what's the best way to get rid of them? The best thing to do is one, you want to prevent them to begin with. So really they're, they're looking for sites that have mechanical injury. So if you're mowing your lawn and you hit your tree by accident with a lawnmower, that could be a, a, a an infection or a spot where they're going to move in. Or if you've had peach tree borer in the past, it may resurface. So you really want to take care of those trees. Okay. Now, if you have more questions and we haven't answered them, although I find that difficult to believe, <laughs> <laughs> there is something to, you can do, right? Let's yep. You can um, download our fact, our fact sheet on the peach tree borers, or you can contact answers at unh.edu and we can send it to you. Okay. And they'll answer all your questions there and hopefully keep your peach trees healthy. That's it for today's Grow It Green.